Hello everyone, my name is Liv and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing some more pages of Wreck This Journal. Before we get started, unfortunately some of the footage of me cracking the spine and decorating the sides of the journal were lost, so we'll just be decorating those pages. So with all that said, let's get started. I'm starting off with the leave this page blank on purpose page and I wanted this page and the crack the spine page to be connected so I drew this spine with the rose coming across both sides. For this side of the page I tried using a white Posca pen and a gel pen but it didn't work very well so I went with white paint instead. Just finishing up the spine and rows on this page and also on this page I drew this girl with a spine which is meant to look like me. I have very long hair and I'm always wearing a bow. I decided not to add any color to this page because I thought it looked better that way and I really like how it turned out. I lost this footage but I colored the sides of the book here with watercolors and watercolor paints using different shades of purple and pink. For the close the journal and write or scribble on the side of the book page, I colored the background with the colors I used for the sides of the book, also using the same supplies. After coloring the background, I made the illustrated book on the page match the front cover of the journal. And here's the finished look. Create your own numbers. For this page, I drew random numbers all over the page using my fine liners. I wanted some numbers to be thick and some to be thinner, so I started with my thinnest fine liners to the thickest. I move the book a lot when I draw, and seeing the book just slowly move around is just so funny to me for some reason. After the numbers were done, I took some paint and did some small designs on the letters. Then I took a heart-shaped hole puncher and wrote the numbers on them, glued them in on each page starting here as the arrow says. Here are all the pages we've done today. They all turn out great. My favorite pages were pages one and two, but let me know what your favorite page was in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. That's all the pages I have time for today though. Not as many this episode as I have a lot of different art projects going on, but I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, like, hit that bell, and stay creative. Bye!